Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Jimmy with Rome Overland Outfitters. Today's build is actually not by us, it's by uh, ARB. And we are actually going to do a walk around of probably one of the coolest trailers we have seen uh, here. So uh, we're going to go meet the guys over from uh, ARB and we'll do a walk around of this uh, this new trailer that they, I think called the Earth Camper. So stick around, we'll do a full walk around. Check it out. All right, everybody, so I found uh, Andrew here. Hey guys, that's From going? ARB and he's going to do the walk around of this Earth Camper for us. <clears throat> So this is the new Earth Camper that we're thinking about bringing out here to the United States. Currently in this configuration that you see right now is the Australian version. Uh, what we're hoping to try to keep this at is around 50,000. What you get for that is everything that you see here minus the optional diesel heater as well as the shower system in the back. To deploy this system, you can literally get your kitchen area available and ready to go in under a minute. I'll show you guys how quickly it is to, to pack it away and then quickly put it back together again. Something that you gotta do is just fold down these glass tops on the oven and the sink, and then you just fold everything away. The LED lights come with the uh, camper. And they come in two versions, an LED that's amber for bugs, and just regular if you want. Everything just stubs and goes as easy as that. You're done. Quickly just unlock everything. You've got your 96 liter dual zone fridge and freezer. Now guys, if you're interested in one of these things and you want to try to persuade your significant other, you just got to make sure you tell them it is a refrigerator and a chiller for the wine. Here's your full pantry, all completely loaded out, ready to go with all your stone go gear, like your coffee cups, coffee mug, and the pot. Comes with a fire extinguisher, ready to go. It just deploys as easily as this. The construction of the camper is Mandrel bent steel tubing. Uh, when we designed this thing, we designed it with the trailer to be set up for off-road use. And so when we built this, the camper part was the afterthought. We wanted to make sure that this thing was fully capable off-road. We did a 900 millimeter trailing arm underneath with a full off-road suspension by Old Man Emu with coil springs. Uh, you can see that beefy trailer arm underneath and the coil spring and suspension that we have under here. Very, very nice. We made sure to uh, put it in there vertically so you get maximum articulation for the off-road suspension. The axis here you can see is a six lug bolt pattern, so it is a Toyota pattern. The great thing about this is if you have a Toyota Tacoma, newer Tundra, or the 4Runner, if you need an additional spare, you have that capability to have extra spares. The vehicle comes with 32 stock and 132 spare inside the cab that I can show you guys later. We're hoping, uh, well, I know for a fact that if you wanted to take this off-road, you're able to fit 35-inch tires underneath. Wow. In the Australian variant, we do have the uh, propane tanks here located in the back. I think for the American version, we're going to have to relocate that to make it compliant for the RVs in the front. Uh, it also comes with a spigot for the water here and a AC com uh, air compressor here. To operate this door to get it into day mode, uh, you literally just have to drop down the rear hatch using these buttons to operate the electronic actuator. This door comes down or your dining area. And you can even convert the door if you had it up in here in the dining mode to a uh, nice mover. And we do offer a screen partition for this too in case you're in certain climates like in South Florida where they've got a lot of bugs. Uh, this is the stow compartment right here with plenty of space for your items that you can use for your dining table. And we have all the stow compartments in here with plenty of space. Great for your clothes, bedding, or whatever else you want to need you want to put in here. Take you guys outside. 
Um, I don't have the partitions on because I wanted to show you guys how large this actually was. Um, the actual space for the, the shower area is actually the same size as the dining area. We do provide you with the walls to provide you privacy. So you can have your shower here as well as uh, your cassette toilet and be and then even a bench here so you can change when necessary. Uh, if you need to provide water uh, to your shower, you can either A, hook it up to that spigot that we had on the other side, have a 55 gallon drum if you want to, like some people do, full of water, or this has a filter in it. If you have a fresh water source of water, you can toss that in and have unlimited water supply for your shower. In this compartment, we have the Red Arc battery management system. Uh, that's a 2000 watt system that comes standard with the tra uh, trailer. Uh, on top, you will see the 250 pound roof rack for additional storage. Uh, that is rated for 250 with off-road uh, use. And then obviously you had other stuff. If you were staying in it, you could put something heavier up there. And it also comes with a dust management system that has reusable filters that you can wash uh, multiple times before you have to finally change them. That keeps the dust out of the compartment, using air pressure, and uh, it works fantastically. Again, multiple component, uh, compartments in this thing to keep stuff. We've got cargo gear bags here. You can put your chairs here. The spare tire is a full 32 inch spare that you see right here. Unfortunately, you cannot go any larger as a spare, but like I had mentioned before, you've got Toyota axles, you'll be able to use those as a spare tire. And we also have what is considered the glove box here for your trailer. You can put your registration information and also extra parts like cat head, extra hubcaps. Uh, I believe this is a jack, uh, other tools as well. Another thing that's fantastic about this trailer that actually showcases what its off road capability is, in addition to the suspension system is this 360 degree rotational hitch. Now hopefully you will never have to use this because if you are fully 360 degrees, you will be inverted. <laughs> well, that's about it. Andrew, thank you very much. You're welcome guys. This by far has been our favorite uh, vehicle here at the SEMA show. <laughs> so we had to come back and get this uh, complete uh, walk around. So we greatly appreciate your time today. Absolutely. If Thank anybody you. is interested in looking at any uh, additional information right now, because it's only available in Australia, you can go to ARB's website at arb.com uh, AU. Or if you go on YouTube, there's a nice 30 minute video there. If you type in Earth Camper, uh, where Sandy Fisk goes over the entire trailer in great detail and uh, kind of goes over the features and benefits. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Yep, we'll see ya.